This is the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson. When nations such as Japan lack detailed records of their poor, it must raise concerns about latent political risks. The Japanese are no less concerned with the poor than we are here in America. However, Japan has a much less robust system of tracking the poor and thus measuring their true economic impact on society. In the United States, homelessness and poverty are right in your face in every major city. Poverty is in our suburbs, and it is not hard to spot even though it is less obvious than it is in our major cities. Although there is much more we can do in the United States, the one thing we have done, somewhat successfully, is to track poverty sufficiently enough to build in the cost of poverty into our economic cost estimates. These numbers provide a snapshot in time for analysts of what a business or investor may have to pay out in order to successfully enter a poverty-riddled area. For example, the cost of infrastructure that has been neglected due to a lack of jobs, health care costs for workers who have not had sufficient preventive care for a period of time, and the cost of a less than stellar education system that will necessitate additional job training. The numbers are provided by local, state, and federal authorities and are a major factor in economic decisions made by businesses and investors who are looking to enter certain areas. In Japan, the statistics looked only at income, not only factors including many standard social economic measurements relied upon by social scientists when reporting their findings, which will be the basis for financial decisions of many businesses and investors. Poverty and all of its ancillary negative effects cannot be placed in a neat individualized box. They must be viewed as elements of the big picture. When there is no reliable data to analyze, it is very difficult to access the totality of political risk attributable to poverty and cost of it stemming from the overall grouping of issues that have led to the poverty to begin with in a particular area. Japan's government is now in the process of putting together a poverty index. This new tool will measure factors such as health, food, clothing, and living conditions. This will provide a much better indicator of overall political risk in Japan on a case-by-case -case basis. Poverty must be a consideration when considering foreign direct investment or a business deal in a foreign nation. Poverty is an indicator of the possibility that you will be facing corruption and civil unrest. Although poverty is not the end of this assessment, it is a measurement that can be applied to certain political risks. It may lead to other indicators and other risks may pop up on your radar. So it's very, very key to look at this as a major factor when looking at the totality of political risks before you make an investment or start up a business in a foreign country. All of the indicators that can be found in government reports are vital. Japan finally got the message on this, and this is why they have beefed up the reporting requirements in their new poverty index. The fact that they have done this lowers the political risk by simply giving solid information to analyze. This has been the Thompson Cast. I am L. Thompson.